What the astonished amateur archaeologist discovered when he dug down to March the 9th, 433 A.D., the day the volcano erupted and covered the island in fatal ash, were the original dragon breeding rings, some still containing the huge reptilian skeletons of dragons in the throes of magical childbirth. Some of the skeletons were covered with the rubber-like magical forms the dragonesses had summoned to fill with the spirits of their unborn young. Schliemann found each of the dragoness skeletons contained within them the crushed eggs of their young, some with tiny, slender, developing dragonet skeletons still preserved within. After the archaeologists came the Ganyo mages who wished to study the reproductive cycle of the smothered dragons in hopes of aiding human women, their babies, with less pain and mortality than before. What they discovered was that the dragon mothers bore the rapidly enlarging eggs and contents for five years' time during which their young, in spirit body form, aided their mums outside of their womb to procure the massive amounts of nutrients a dragoness needed to rapidly grow her body, to outgrow the massively developing egg that grew within her bulging belly.